Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Lee, a board certified ophthalmologist. And today let's chat about what you can do to slow progression of cataracts and potentially prevent cataract surgery. A cataract is a dirty lens inside the eye and all of us will eventually get cataracts if we live long enough. Cataracts will naturally develop as we age and may be accelerated by factors such as trauma, previous eye surgery, use of certain medications like steroids, and certain eye conditions. There is absolutely no way you can completely prevent the development of cataract, and when the time comes for cataract surgery, the procedure will hopefully be a positive and life-changing experience. I can't even begin to tell you how many happy patients I see after their cataract surgery and how many times people tell me they wish they had considered having the surgery sooner. As with any surgery, there are side effects and a very low level of risk, including the risk of complications, prolonged inflammation, infection, and the need for additional surgery as a consequence of cataract surgery. So it is understandable that the most wary and cautious would want to delay or prevent cataract surgery for as long as possible. So today, let's talk about actionable steps you can take to slow down the development of cataracts. The first and highest yield step is to wear sunglasses and protect your eyes from sunlight. We know for a fact that UV light can damage lens proteins in a process called glycation, where UV light can substitute for oxygen to trigger a harmful oxidative reaction in the lens. Oxidative stress can cause the proteins in your natural lens to start clumping together, forming a cataract over time. The World Health Organization estimates that up to 20% of cataracts worldwide are caused by overexposure to UV radiation, which means that one in five cataracts could have been slowed or prevented with proper eye protection or reduced exposure to UV light. So before you go out, grab your sunglasses. Another actionable step is to cut back on alcohol consumption. Heavy alcohol use can cause your body to produce free radicals, which can lead to the aggregation of lens proteins and lead to earlier cataract formation. In a prospective study published in Ophthalmology, it was shown that daily use of one or more alcoholic drinks was associated with a modest increase of risk for cataracts and the need for cataract surgery, and the risk increased with increasing alcohol consumption. On the other hand, there was a study that found that the polyphenol antioxidants, which are especially abundant in red wine, may have some protective role in preventing cataracts. In this study, scientists found that individuals who drank a moderate amount of wine five or more times per week were 23% less likely to develop cataracts than non-drinkers. The data is a bit confusing, but my takeaway is to cut back on heavy alcohol consumption, and when you are consuming alcohol, you should consider red wine. A clear risk factor for early cataract surgery is smoking and smoke exposure. People who smoke cigarettes are two to three times more likely to develop cataracts than people who do not smoke. Studies have also shown that the more a person smokes, the greater that risk becomes. The good news is that studies have also found that risks of cataracts can decrease significantly just months after quitting. So put down that cigarette. In addition to cigarette smoke, indoor smoke from cooking can also result in earlier cataracts. A study conducted in Nepal and India found that cooking with an unflued solid fuel stove was an independent risk factor for the development of cataracts. Make sure when you are cooking, you are using cleaner burning fuels and have increased ventilation in the kitchen. The next step that you can take is to stay healthy. Certain medical conditions like diabetes will certainly result in earlier cataracts. This happens because higher blood sugars can also result in higher sugar levels inside the eye. Sugar in the eye can result in swelling of the lens in the eye, which in turn can cause formation of lens opacities. Patients with diabetes are reported to be up to five times more likely to develop cataracts at an early age, in addition to other eye and health problems. 
Last but not least, a healthy diet may help slow down cataracts. Research has demonstrated that certain vitamins can help slow down progression of cataracts. Vitamin C, otherwise known as ascorbic acid, is an antioxidant that is highly concentrated in your eye and directly related to how much you take. Increasing vitamin C, either naturally through foods that are high in vitamin C like citrus fruits or supplements, may help reduce the risk of cataracts. Vitamin E is another important antioxidant that can protect the fatty acids in the eyes from harmful chemicals that can damage your eyes. You can consider eating more nuts and green leafy vegetables or taking a vitamin E supplement to help increase your intake of this fat-soluble vitamin. Lutein and zeaxanthin are carotenoids that can offer a lot of benefit to your eyes in general and are best known for their ability to protect your eyes from UV and blue light. Studies have demonstrated that these antioxidants can reduce the incidence of eye diseases like macular degeneration, diabetic eye disease, and cataracts. According to research studies, consuming 6 to 20 milligrams of lutein and zeaxanthin per day can significantly reduce your risk of ocular disease. You can take these as supplements or obtain these naturally through leafy green vegetables like spinach, Swiss chard, and kale. Your diet and the food you consume is a choice that you can make, and good daily food choices will ultimately pay off in the long run. Eating well will not only reduce your risks of cataracts, but also help keep your body healthy. I hope this video inspires you to take a step or two to not only slow down your cataracts, but to improve your overall health. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. I will be releasing a video next week about how to prepare for cataract surgery, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!